In the small coastal town of Shrewsbury, England, a young naturalist named Charles Darwin spent his days exploring the wonders of the natural world. Born into a family of doctors and scholars, Charles showed an early fascination with the diverse life forms surrounding him. Little did he know that his curiosity would lead him on an extraordinary journey, shaping the course of scientific history. Charles Darwin's childhood was marked by his love for nature and an insatiable curiosity about the world. His father, a physician, hoped he would follow in his footsteps, but Charles had a different calling. He began studying at the University of Edinburgh, where he delved into medicine but found his true passion in the study of life sciences. After completing his studies, Darwin embarked on a voyage that would alter the course of his life forever. In 1831, he joined the HMS Bagel as its naturalist, setting sail on a five-year journey around the world. The ship visited the Galapagos Islands, a remote archipelago in the Pacific Ocean, where Darwin made observations that would lay the foundation for his groundbreaking theory of evolution. As Darwin explored the diverse ecosystems of the Galapagos, he noticed variations among species of finches on different islands. The adaptations of these birds to their specific environments sparked a revelation in Darwin's mind. He began to develop the theory of natural selection, the idea that species evolve over time through the survival of the fittest. This concept challenged prevailing beliefs about the fixed nature of species and the world's creation. Upon his return to England in 1836, Darwin dedicated years to meticulously documenting his findings and refining his theories. His groundbreaking work on the origin of species, published in 1859, outlined his revolutionary ideas on evolution. The book ignited both awe and controversy as it challenged the prevailing religious and scientific views of the time. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, presented in his seminal work On the Origin of Species, 1859, is one of the most influential scientific theories in the history of biology. The theory fundamentally changed the way scientists and the general public understand the diversity of life on Earth. Common Descent Darwin proposed that all living organisms are interconnected through a common ancestry. According to his theory, all forms of life on Earth share a common origin and have gradually diverged over time through a process of descent with modification. Natural Selection Natural selection is the central mechanism driving evolution. Darwin observed that within any population, there is natural variation among individuals. Some of these variations are heritable, meaning they can be passed on to offspring. Struggle for existence. Darwin recognized that populations tend to produce more offspring than can survive and reproduce. This leads to a struggle for existence, where individuals compete for limited resources, such as food, mates, and shelter. Adaptation. Through the process of natural selection, organisms become adapted to their environments. Adaptations are features or behaviors that enhance an organism's ability to survive and reproduce. Gradualism Darwin proposed that evolution occurs gradually over long periods of time. He argued against the prevailing idea of the time, which suggested that species were created in their current forms and remained unchanged. Fossil record. Darwin cited the fossil record as evidence supporting his theory. He noted that fossils found in older rock layers were often more primitive in form, while more recent layers contained fossils of increasingly complex organisms. This sequential pattern aligned with the idea of gradual evolution. Biogeography. Darwin also studied the distribution of species around the globe. He observed that similar environments often contained distinct but related species, suggesting that species evolve in response to local conditions. As Charles Darwin continued to refine his theories and gather evidence for his groundbreaking work, he received an unexpected letter from a fellow naturalist named Alfred Russell Wallace. 
Wallace, who was conducting his own research in Southeast Asia, had independently arrived at a theory of natural selection that closely mirrored Darwin's ideas. The letter detailed Wallace's findings and asked for Darwin's opinion. Darwin, surprised and intrigued by the similarities in their conclusions, faced a moral dilemma. He recognized the importance of Wallace's work, but was also aware that his own years of research were at stake. In a moment of ethical reflection, Darwin consulted with his colleagues and decided to present both his and Wallace's work together at the Linnean Society in 1858. The joint presentation highlighted the convergence of their independent research and solidified the concept of natural selection in the scientific community. This event not only showcased the integrity of Darwin, but also emphasized the collaborative nature of scientific discovery. The relationship between Darwin and Wallace grew into one of mutual respect and shared commitment to advancing the understanding of evolution. This collaboration had a profound impact on the acceptance of the theory of evolution, as the joint presentation strengthened the scientific community's confidence in the validity of natural selection. The story of this collaboration became a pivotal moment in the history of evolutionary biology, underscoring the importance of shared knowledge and the pursuit of truth in the scientific endeavor. While Darwin's theory of evolution has withstood the test of time and is widely accepted in the scientific community, it has also sparked ongoing debates, particularly in relation to religious and philosophical perspectives on the origin of life. Despite these challenges, Darwin's work laid the foundation for modern biology and continues to shape our understanding of the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Over the years, Darwin's theories became widely accepted in the scientific community, forever changing our understanding of life on Earth. His work laid the foundation for modern biology and influenced fields as diverse as genetics, anthropology, and paleontology. Charles Darwin became a symbol of scientific progress, and his legacy extended far beyond the realm of academia. In the later years of his life, Darwin continued to explore various aspects of the natural world, from the study of earthworms to the role of emotions in human evolution. Despite facing health challenges, including chronic illness, he remained dedicated to advancing scientific knowledge until his death in 1882. As time passed, the town of Shrewsbury transformed into a hub of scientific curiosity and exploration. The house where Darwin was born became a museum, celebrating his life and contributions to science. The town's schools and research institutions embraced his legacy, fostering a culture of inquiry and discovery. Today, the impact of Charles Darwin's ideas is felt worldwide. His theories continue to shape our understanding of life's intricate web, influencing fields as diverse as medicine, genetics, and environmental science. The small town of Shrewsbury, once the backdrop to a young naturalist's adventures, now stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Charles Darwin and the transformative power of curiosity and exploration.